It's like a far-off memory. A far-off memory that's like a scattered dream. I want to line the pieces up. A far-off memory that's like a scattered dream. Yours and mine. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Good to see you, Cloud. Like, is any of this for real or not? What about this planet? Mm? Uh, weird thoughts. They can lately. take your world. Cloud. They can take your heart. Weird thoughts. Cut you loose from all you know. Cloud. But if it's your fate, he'll come back. Well. Huh? Cloud. Let's go. Mm. He said that he would. That's up to you, Cloud. And every step forward will always be a step closer to home. I want to line the pieces up. Yours and mine. It's like she said, wait here and Cloud will come back. Cloud! Take your heart. Take. Do it. Heart. What is that? You die to watch. Like, is any of this. I want to line the pieces up. Every step forward Yours will mine. always be a step closer to home. I'm back. Alright, what's up everybody? My name's Waking Cloud, as you guys probably know by now. And we are continuing with Chorus. We were right in the middle of something, and I had to actually end stream early. So they're probably going to have me redo this mission. Let's see if I remember how to play this game. Actually, you know what? They didn't really put me back any. More moving in. Together we will shatter them. Strike fast. Takes a second to get back into this. I'm not doing poorly, but I'm not making my shots. There's a lot going on. 
You also have a lot of tools at your disposal, and like making good use of all those tools can be a little difficult sometimes. Wait, what? Um, did it carry me out of the game? Oh boy. I don't know why freaking OBS does that. Every single time I play anything now, it tabs me out like right at the beginning. I went to almost having full health to having literally no health. And then the person I'm supposed to protect is also almost dead on top of that. Not the last one. Oh, now we get to the fun stuff. Wraith. Let us tear it to shreds. Together, it's on. All right. We gotta go in. Go around here. Something should have opened. Maybe not. Fight on. Another one hit. Where do I need to go? Got all this underbelly stuff right here. Fire and strike. Alright. Gotta go in. be more. Where's the core? Up higher? Oh. 
Guess I missed that the first time. Cleared. It was good doing this together. As equals. Of course. Lara. Thank you. I will never see us again. She overrode the controls. She's gone. But we have other objectives now, Forcer. Yes, we mustn't stray from our path to the Prophet. Re, come in. We are now heading out to Captain Ace. Still don't understand what the purple does. Great. Admiral Cardo is listening too. Why bother now? I hope you enjoyed yourself while my people were dying. Captain Asan and his crew are alive. How would you know? I will never give up. Nara out. Alright. Find Captain and his ships. Before we do that, there's something over here. A wormhole? Don't know if we've been into a wormhole yet. Very curious. some of the worst like map control system <laughs> it's crazy oh here like the map button that would be map in pretty much any other game is the like pause menu and vice versa more faceless ahead they've already materialized then we should make them disappear Guess we gotta take out these guys first. Is that everybody? Apparently not, because it would have told me if it was. There. Dematerialization complete. I feel faceless salvage close by. Take the salvage. I could have sworn there was another objective. This looks like a good game for VR. It would be pretty wild. I think it would be cool. Um, the one thing about like flying games like this, it's very easy to make a game that makes you motion sick in VR. It's coming from the outpost. There's still someone inside. Yes. Outpost command, come in. Well, so how's it go going, Mango? Saw you like 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. Dropping. Their life support system is down, and all oxygen reserves will be depleted soon. 
Yeah, if we had more time, I would have loved to show you something that wasn't like a um, fitness game. I think I did. I just glitch. Oh, okay. Wait, three. Well, just go. I think I'm gonna have to just end it right here. This is what I get. Jeez. There we go. Had some fun games tonight. Oh, for sure. Wait, three echoes. Just go. Nothing here. Just an empty echo. Move on. Echo two. That's not an echo, but... Reddits? Let's go. Have you played any more Oblivion? My senses. And the energy source. Behind it. Guess I gotta find a way in. Now the other one. Quick. Now the other one. Quick. Crap, I used to know how to do this. And now I don't remember. Finally. The life support system. Power it up. Played a little yesterday. Just level up until I die. Reactivated. Time to check for survivors. Faceless. We must hunt. Continue. That was a lot of fun today. I enjoyed um, hanging out with our friends at their house. Evasive measures. We're in the clear. Nara. Something is luring. This looks like fast-paced fun. It definitely is. Outpost command, are you still there? Yes. Not necessarily a game for everybody, but I am loving it. Just, it's a lot of fun flying around. By the blessed stars, it's growing. Nara. No, there's more corruption. I located it there. Must destroy all the corruption hearts before they regrow. Hurry. Okay. I'll use the lightning clouds to strengthen your right. Where are they? Okay. I just need to follow this. One. Oops. Two. I messed that up. I messed it up real bad. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I need to shoot them too. I'm dumb. I am so dumb. Okay. Can't 
can't do that anymore. Wait. One of those where I have to absorb it or something? Okay, there's four of them. Okay, one, two, three, oh god. Four, three. I'm just like slightly too slow for this. There. That was stressful. As it got first, it actually doesn't. That is a, one of the most surprising things about this game. And now I sent something familiar. And I've actually checked that to doubly make sure. It does not have first person flight. Because I would love to do some um, first person in this game. Found it. It's going pretty good. It's been a good weekend. Um, traveled home for Thanksgiving. Got back yesterday. Paralyzed. <sighs> Very lethal. It feels good. Yes. And now, no reason to stay. They studied the right aspect and corruption. They had no idea what they were getting into. My pain was no coincidence. No wonder they got themselves killed. Typical arrogance. Terrorist experiments have consequences. Right. It's not the highest budget game. There's a lot of um, rough edges here and there, but it's still a ton of fun to play. Like, for example, this little indicator is something I found, I'm pretty sure, but I can't do anything with. So it's kind of like this pointless signal. thing. Strange. It is Niju Coalition code. Niju, right here. an old signal. No. It does a nothing. Transmission. Listen. Colonel Cass, hailing the Exalted Killer. Or do you prefer Cult Slayer now? I prefer Nara, and it's retired, Colonel. Right. <laughs> Let's see, I hate to bring it up, but if you have an Epic Games account, you can get Star Wars Squadrons until Thursday. Oh, snap! I think I... I feel like I own that already, but I might still get it for free. I'm actually playing this on Epic, so... You expect me to believe you? Believe? I thought you abandoned religious nonsense. If you want to know, find me. Cast out. Let's go over here. We received his coordinates. A trap. We'll know when we get there. Do do do. Fly into the base and let me dock the ship real quick, and then I'll read chat. Not saying this game isn't awesome. Just while I'm thinking about space combat, you know. Yeah, that's fair. And I actually um, I'm a fair weather Star Wars person, but the people that did Star Wars squ um, Squadron, Criterion. They've made some of my favorite games. They did um, Burnout 3, Burnout Revenge, pretty much the entire Burnout series, and a couple of the Need for Speed games. So I would play it just for their pedigree. Hmm. I don't know if I need to buy anything right now. I don't think I can buy anything on this. Well, I take it back. I can buy stuff. Hmm. But should I buy anything is the true question. Increase the damage her rights can inflict on an opponent. I think we're not going to buy anything right now. 
Let's see. Squadrons is awesome because you can drift your fight. So you can actually drift in this game too. Pretty, um, pretty well. I'll try to show it off in just a second here. Masterpiece, um, feel like a person would only disagree if they're not good. But yeah, this one's called Chorus, if you, I don't know if you actually, um, picked up on, um, the stream title or anything, but... I am loving it. But here. So, it's not really a drift, per se, but you can lock your ship, like, in the direction it's in, and then kind of do one of these numbers, so I'm still moving forward, technically, but I can change direction, at least change the direction I'm aiming, and if I do that, so let's say I'm, like, running towards this thing, and I want to get away from it, I shift, and then I boost in the next direction, so it's kind of an interesting drift, it's not exactly a one-to-one, -one, but you can do some pretty crazy maneuvers. <laughs> No, this game wasn't free. This is, um... I'd like to say I got it on sale for, like, 30. Worth checking out. But it's kind of like a retail game. Typical retail game. I sense multiple energy cells. Maybe I can locate them. Oops. So, like, if I hit this one and I start drifting, I can go ahead and just kind of aim for the next energy cell that I want to get, so I'm just going to look at this one as I... Ooh. And it actually, it takes a good while to master the controls for this thing. Because you have three different types of attacks. You have the drift, you have this thing that breaks shields, um, you have a scanner. So there's plenty of actions to do. So it's not like you're just button mashing or doing the exact same thing. Doesn't need them anymore. Let's see. Damn, too late. Kill the thrusters and spin. Pilot, Pretty much. I need to talk to you. Boom. Let me go here. Loading Epic to look into this. Yeah, because they have the um, autumn sale yeah, going on, so I wouldn't be surprised there, if it's discounted. I guess it's yours. Sure. I would just sell it anyways. <laughs> Good luck out there. Same to you. Bye. Also, how's how's your day going, Beast? How was Thanksgiving? Oh yeah, the art style's great. I will say it doesn't stream very um, gracefully sometimes, specifically, and I'm only going to do this once. If I go to the menu, well, this is like the first time in a long time that I went to the menu and my game doesn't just start hitching crazily. But I've had a couple issues streaming it. When I'm in the ship and just doing dog fights and stuff, it's fine, but when you switch like menus or you go into the hangar sometimes, it just completely tanks. That's right, you are in Canada. I forgot. Nara, do you feel faceless influence in your rights? No. I think the faceless only gained access once humans discovered the rights. Then there could still be undiscovered rights. And more right aspects than we found. So where do you believe the rights Been arise? good though. From our reality. We just lack the ability to attain do, 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 them do, do, until do, do, now. Do, do, do. Which may explain why the faceless are so determined to enter the waking world. But if they can't attain them without humanity... Then their destructive acts could ultimately end their existence. Yes. Nara, come in. Recruitment is going great. We need every fighter we can get. All people talk about is the cult slayer. Your victories have inspired people to fight. This is not about me. Admiral Cardo, I'm entering the shipyard's lightning field. Why? Captain Astan must already be dead. You were their only chance. But your delays killed those crews. Without them, we gotta retreat. 
Then go. Meanwhile, I'm going to bring your ship. Nara out. So I just got an upgrade that allows me to go into lightning field, so. We'll see. Got pizza, drank some beer, thought about Contact. doing stuff and didn't. Sniper ahead. Evasive maneuver is ready. Wish I could play okay, Gotham Knights. Um, need to Please upgrade control. my tech. I've heard I'm Gotham sorry. Knights honestly We're doesn't run that well on anything, so. <laughs> and Admiral Cardo. Check his Apparently it has quite a few technical issues, so it might be for the best that you just wait. While they kind of optimize some things. Call me Nara. I'm getting you out. Corruption is locking down the ships. Mm -hmm. These pulsing hearts seem to be linked. Yes. I must disrupt them all at once for each ship. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. Frigate Pollard, engage engines and stay close. Nara will free us all. Reinforcements incoming. Get out. How about some cover fire? Appreciate it. Yeah. Like, I think the PC fire. version might be locked to, to, at a very low frame rate for, like, PC, like a PC port. And then there's some other stuff that's going on with it, too. Like, I know all the consoles don't have a 60 frame per second mode. And I heard the PC version Kill just doesn't perform fire. very well. I pay pretty close attention to that stuff, so... Like, that and Pokemon are two recent examples of games that just, um... Should run better, but don't. I apologize for not looking at chat, but this battle is pretty intense. Uh oh, did that way too early. I tell you, the one thing I really, really love about this ship is the fact that it has instant transmission. Only Dragon Ball Z fans would know. Okay. Oh, screw this. Let's just kill the ship. Do the same thing here. Line that up. game really does make you feel like some type of Gundam fighter, some type of, like, mech god. <laughs> oh, so good. Just wreaking havoc. Bedlam. Utter chaos. And all these unsuspecting ships. Alright, let's try to do this. Okay. 
I really shouldn't go over here to get this, but I want it. Okay. Okay. Last one should be not here, not here, not here. Over here. Okay. I got 25 seconds to finish this. There we go. Everyone on my mark. Easy. More cult forces launching from that tower. I expected as much. It's the yeah, operation. it was a suboptimal release. That requires more firepower, but I detected that inactive is very glad. I hope the studio does okay though, because I don't like studios like having a bad release and then closing just because of like one really bad, you know, plunker. It's always better for studios to stay open. I, I think we can all agree on that. Burn them all. They're gone. All right. Last one. No. Not the last one. People should be excited for your game. Yeah. Death viral. Ah! Oh, Lord Spirit. Go down here. Okay. Let's board it. Let's take the lightning field down. It's on for twenty two Canadian, decent price. Oh yeah, that's not a bad price at all. I'd highly recommend it. Games at least, um, I would say seven to ten hours minimum, like if you just main story. Does some really cool stuff. I like the difficulty mode. Um, currently I'm playing on the hard mode. I'm pretty sure there's like an expert. But if you play on hard, there's plenty of challenge. And it never really seems unfair. So that's always a plus. Uh oh, it's not gonna let me pick up that thing. I really wanna pick it up though. That's floating square right there. If I was in my regular ship, I could pick it up. Okay, I don't know how to pilot this. And it's kind of a little problematic. I might die here. Because the controls don't... This doesn't navigate well. I'll go ahead and say that. Oh, you know what? My main ship is inverted. And this one, for whatever reason, is not inverted. And it's throwing me. So I was like, why isn't this thing going up? Okay. And yes, I am one of those people. I like playing my games inverted. At least my flight games. I like playing flight games inverted and first person shooters inverted. The lightning around us stopped. Captain, move out. Okay. We've got company. We can't take them out alone. Alright. Oh, what's up, Duck? I was lurking in your stream yesterday, saw you and um, Raider actually finish the Infinite campaign. Um, congrats on that. It never really seemed... Hey, I... That is actually a very big accomplishment for video games, in my opinion. At least on, like, harder difficulties. Because so many devs don't really balance for hard modes properly. Gotta say, I am not a fan of piloting this ship. 
It's kind of cool that I get to do it for like three minutes, but I never I'm glad it's not like a 50% of the game type of thing. <laughs> Thanks from some grateful fighters. You were. You also play for it. That's right. And you never gave up, Captain. Never. Admiral Cardo. I don't know where you found Nara. We had a really annoying soft lock to get through. I think I was there for the very tail end of that, where you're like, hey, we actually got through this? And Raider was like, yeah, I was about to just throw back some beers and forget about the game, but. Cult Slayer. We need to talk. Cardo, out. If you can do it in a simple way, can you explain the soft lock? Because I was kind of curious about it. I can feel it through you. A growing red pain. I'm sorry, you must enjoy this. Hey there, cool cat. Let's see, um, it's chunky. I missed the chunky con- Oh, the ship. Yes, that ship is very chunky. And now that I'm thinking about it. Ship type, regular ship. Okay. Wait a second. It says I'm not inverted. I'm not inverted. I don't know why when I got in that new ship I just expected to be inverted. Like, that's the weird thing about my brain sometimes. Like, depending on the vehicle I'm in, I kind of just assume like, oh, this is an inverted vehicle. And oh, this is a non-inverted vehicle. So, I've actually been playing this game default, which is a little strange. Um, if this was Star Fox 64, I would definitely be playing it inverted. Namely because Star Fox 64 doesn't even give you the option to uninvert, I think. And typically speaking, most ship games I do do inverted. And um, one thing that's very weird, if I'm in first person, I have to have it inverted. If I'm in third person, I can kind of swing either way. But if it's first person, I prefer to be inverted. Co-op definitely has some bugs. Will not stop. Gotta take him out first. Shut them out. Must prevail. Strike back. Okay. Vanquish. Hit them hard. Oh, but I do have a question for anybody watching the stream. How is the streaming experience of this game? Because I feel like... I feel you know how some games, it's fine when you're in control of it, but then when you're watching it, it's like... Kind of like, oh, this is way too much with all the... Random turns and... You know, loop-de-loops and stuff like that. Does it make you motion sick watching? Or is it kind of like... I, you know, not a big deal. The checkpoint didn't move to the next position to trigger the next cutscene and activate a bridge visual and unlock the door we need to get through. Oh, okay. Okay, it's okay. Cool, cool, cool. I was just curious. Because I haven't really had that problem um, too much watching streams, but I know a couple people, like, maybe it's some people are more sensitive, it, sensitive to it than others, but I have heard people, like, complain. Oh, this game has way too much, um, you know, jumping and movement to um, actually stream. And now it's doing the thing where, like, for whatever reason, if I play this game on stream, completely locks up when I go to the menu, specifically the map menu. We are gonna go here. I think that's a safe jump. And then right after you get out of the map menu, you completely just craps the bed. About Admiral Cardo. Yes. His family. 
Did they all die? Yes. The cult deployed psychic Stuck on the Dane and Vampire. People now, I remember you talking about a soft lock. I see. When Cardo arrived, now, I'm trying to think about Dane. And firing wildly. Stuck on the D Oh, Elizabeth Dane. Oh, that so ship. Were you there when I murdered everybody on that ship because I couldn't figure out anything in that game? It's all he has left. God. He may still try to kill me. He wants the profit. First. I'll watch my back. At some point, I'm gonna go back to that game just for, like, my own redemption's sake. Because after watching a lot of you two, I'm like, man, nobody had to, re like, reload a checkpoint 50 times to beat that sniper boss. Nobody had to, like, reload for an hour trying to get through that one place with all the, um... I forget where it was, but essentially you're trying to go into this one building. And they just all have these super guns and just kind of melt you. Because it's not even like, I am curious about the rest of the story, but I want to be able to play like a game like that efficiently, or at least up to a certain standard. Invasive measures. Just like the video game scholar in me kind of demands it. I like to be decent at every video game, <laughs> at a very minimum. Them hard. Annihilate it. Got them all. I still sense some faceless salvage. We'll make good use of this. Electroplating. Little Nightmares was one where I looked back on the at the VOD and realized how dizzying the floaty third person camera was. I have a safe set aside at the start of the Society of Leopold. Just killing from there on. I'm going to be starting my runs from there for a while. That makes sense because you're a speedrunner and you know. Like, there are specific spots in a game where speedrunners just practice, and it's like... It makes no sense to do two hours of work to get to this spot and then just, like, you know, fail after two Make hours of doing something, so you might as well practice. That we should make them disappear. I really wish my ship didn't talk so much. If I had... I shouldn't say one complaint about the game, but one of my major gripes is... The ship's voice acting is kind of lame. It just sounds like some really, like, edgy try-hard, like, we gotta make them disappear, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't really add much. Still here. Weird battle right here. The ship's kind of like the announcer from Halo, now that I think about it, like the multiplayer announcer. Like, if he just popped out and said triple kill, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Dematerialization complete. We'll make good use of this. <laughs> it literally just sounds like a bootleg Halo announcer. I just like all the killing, I admit. <laughs> I can hear. I mean, once you hear it, you kind of can't unhear it. Because he's just like. Dematerialized. We'll take them on. They stand no chance. Well, sir, I still have many more lessons to learn. About your rights? About myself. Because. 
Okay, I'm going to pause, and this can be like my semi-hot take about the game. It's almost like you took the, um, the tr it's not the Traveler, but the Balls in Destiny. I can't think of their name. But you take one of those and give it the personality of a Halo announcer. See things that I am blind to. Your guardian. And Nara, you lost another base to one of those lightning storms. But a crew member escaped. Please check on them. Out. It's also a very chill game. It's just fun to fly around. This is Nara. I. I. You escaped the storm. Uh, I was out on patrol. But then the lightning. It killed my wingman. And the outpost? I don't know. I must go back. It'd be cool if this had like a formal loop de loop, like Star Fox. Report to Admiral Cardo. Now. But you did well, pilot. Now follow your orders. Also, Duck, how have things been going? Um Do you got a formal game you plan to stream next that you're ready to announce or ready to say out here? Also, how's everything going in like your IRL life? How's Thanksgiving? <laughs> How's Pokemon? Because I think I saw you on Discord you're playing Pokemon, or maybe you were in Star's chat talking about it a little bit. Bless anybody that's playing that game right now, because, gosh, <laughs> the state of it is just crazy to me. <laughs> the state of that game is just wild. The storm blinded our sensors. Any casualties? We're down to 51 crew members. Nara, your force is approaching. Outpost, hold your fighters. We'll handle this. Those are circle ships, but they aren't using circle encryption. Strange. Honestly, it's one of those games, it's hard for me to even watch because, like, be Take them out. all I want to do is make negative Fire. comments about it, so it's just better if I just don't watch any Pokemon right now. Because I'm like, God, how did they release that game in that state? Just upsetting. Are you kidding me about those misses? What a senseless deception. Clear the area. Go, go, go. More prey for us. There we go. Still here. Possible. Death imminent. Target destroyed. Tracking. Leap. You said last one down. Clearly that was untrue. That was some fake news right there. For real? Too close. Cleared. There we now. go. It won't hold. I know, but let's report back. Okay, Commander, let me read. We repelled the attacks. Well, I was gonna read before she Thank started you. talking, but take this for your efforts. Okay. Appreciate it. Let's see. How long do we need to stay inside? Until the Pokemon is a great game overall for a Pokemon right game. I feel like the issues are be being overstated based on my experience. Yes. Cloud, I did go. my first. Oh snap! Understood. When did you do that? 
Now we're out. Was it Thanksgiving or something? Because I would have really actually... I might watch the VOD if you saw the VOD up. Definitely gets a bit framey here and there when it tries to render a lot and things sometimes kind of just load in front of you. But I haven't had anything game breaky or super buggy. Yeah, I'm just like, even if we're talking about like the soft locks and stuff, just the amount of pop in and some of the frame rate stuff, like, oh, the frame rate stuff just gets me. Because if you compare it to like, I know it's not Apple, you know, it's not apples even in oranges because Breath of the Wild is just as big. Better see what they need. That's a comparable game on Switch that came out five years ago. And it managed to avoid most of those technical um, hiccups. Most of them. Definitely not perfect. Breath of the Wild can chug in a couple places. But, um, yeah, it just, and the textures. But that's me being very, like, technical about it. Nara responding. Do you need help? We're traveling to the nearest trading haven, but we hear hostiles are attacking ships. But the premise of it, no problem. they actually did the We've thing that I wanted and actually updated the Pokemon formula. So on that, you know, on that end, I'm very happy that they actually tried something new. And people seem to like the new stuff. It's just the um, plethora of things around it. <laughs> That really have people kind of in a tizzy right now. Yesterday we, oh, you wrote us. Okay, I'm gonna check out that vod. In fact, if you could DM me on um, Twitch to say check out my vod, I know that's a weird thing to um, DM somebody, but just so I don't forget. I would appreciate it. I've been very bad about the piano this month. I've probably only played like one every, once every three days, which is very bad for me. Let's see. Incoming hostile ships detected. Defensive protocols activated. Take cover. We'll keep you safe. What you do? Switch there. Boom, boom. Uh, I don't see any more hostiles. Oh. Take it back. Right. Not a single hostile left breathing. Amazing. We're through the danger zone. Please accept these credits and our thanks. Thanks, Captain. Take care. I, I really don't think it's that bad. It's there, but it's not all the time, you know? And it's slow-paced, turn-based game, so it doesn't really affect gameplay. Like, when I was watching stars go around the open world, it felt like at least the pop-in was something that was just literally everywhere. The frame stuff, it wasn't like it was going into single digits, but I could definitely tell it was dipping from 30 to 20. Per, like, maybe not even, I feel like once every 30 seconds, it felt like it was at least like skipping a couple frames. But I could be wrong. And like I said, I haven't had a first-hand experience with the game, and I only saw a limited subset, so it might have just been the area she was in. That was a little bit more um, taxing. Receiving data indicating wreckage nearby. Let's check it out. So yeah, I, I really can't assess it one way or the other, but it's really killed my personal interest in the game. That being said, I was never going to play it anyway because every time a Pokemon game comes out, I'm like, oh, I probably should be Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon first. And then every time I think about Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, I'm like, that game, every time I play it, and I'm not even trying to do this, say this in a reductive way, but it puts me to sleep within 15 to 20 minutes. Like, I have my 3DS next to my bed, and every time I load that game, it puts me to sleep. <laughs> every single time, it without fail. Now 
And I don't know what exactly it is about Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I think it's because of the amount of cutscenes it has compared to um, traditional or at least the classic Pokemon games. The pacing just seems really weird for it. And I just, ooh. I think I got past maybe the first gym, maybe the second gym. And that's it. That's all of it. Damn, too late. Pilot, can we meet up? I need to talk to you. And here I thought it was my lucky day, but I guess it's yours. Sure. I would just sell it anyways. <laughs> Credits. Good luck out there. Same to you. All right. Where are we going next? Right. We've got the main thing over there. I think we probably have a couple more question marks on the map. Maybe not. Are all... Yep. Yeah. There's at least one. See, like, this right here is completely unacceptable to me. Fortunately, it's only in this specific menu... And I can mostly avoid it, so. Oh. And now we're back to normal. Let's see. It's basically Elder Scroll Pokemon. Oh. Man, I don't even think Elder Scrolls is like that, though. But, like I said, I have a very limited experience with that game. Not very great, don't worry about. Um, do really good games ever put you to sleep? I definitely have games that put me to sleep, even though they're like very good. Like, um, one of my favorite games of all time, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. If I play it close to bedtime, and I'm in a really comfortable position, I'm gonna, put, <laughs> I'm gonna fall asleep nine times out of 10, even though I love that game to death. Um, I can relate. Some games knock me out. Some games not sure. Um, sure, the formula. You really can't have frame locks on a transparent holographic map. Yeah, it's just very weird. And I wonder if it's OBS, to be honest, because I also had a lot of issues streaming this game, which is another reason why I, like, I'm hesitant to complain about that stuff. Because OBS can do some very weird things to games um, and affect performance in really weird ways that only affect streamers. I remember cleansing it. I once survived. Should we investigate? Yes, I sense a memory, and it's. I'm just saying the game itself, not a commentary of it being glitchy or not. Open world. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I also, not, not to rag on Pokemon more, but I did see this very, very interesting, it's not even a bug technically, but um, I think it's in, and I don't even know the full context of this, but on online stadium matches in that game, the RNG seat is fixed. So they, like the Twitter thread, they were demonstrating this, I forget what the move is called, it's like Cold Claw or, it's some type of one-hit KO move. And they're like, we can recreate this 100% one-hit KO move on these specific turns in every single battle, no questions asked. And, like, it was crazy. <laughs> it was insane. And then another person was like, I think there was a move with, like, 90% accuracy. And they managed to um, start a battle with it 14 different times and miss every time. 90% accuracy, missed 14 times in a row when they reset the battle and it was like the first turn, which is a one in 100 trillion chance. Like they did the math. <laughs> and I was like, how did that ever pass quality testing? But it's one of those things, I'm sure it's gonna get patched. I just found that wild. Intentional or not, every 
We designed it to kill so perfectly. It must never be used again by anyone. It's the Colonel. I can sense his life force. Do, do, do. Okay. There. That interface still has power. I'm not sure how it's possible, but I think he created this memory just oh. for me. Cass isn't a Jew. Go so here, follow the blue. In the purges. That was a little tight. Then access it. Done. I unlocked a hatch, and now I detect a life sign. We going in? The colonel is waiting. So good to see you, Nora. Do you know what I'm aiming at you? One blast will shred your ship's hull. You can try. Plan to kill me. No. I intend to prevent another Nemica Prime. I have something to show you. Come. Under my watch, we created a special weapon. This wreck was hit with amaranth infused ammunition. Standard wolf rounds. What's different? One round equals one dead ship. How? Project it's not a bug, it's a feature. Yeah, I'm sure it's just some oversight. And it, theoretically, it shouldn't be that hard to patch the whole RNG thing. It's just wild that nobody really caught that. They won't tear a planet apart. But a single volley can destroy an entire convoy. I will stop what I started. And you must help me. You think? Of all people, you know exactly what will happen when this weapon falls to the cult. And you know it wouldn't be any different with Admiral Cardo. No matter what justification they proclaim, in the end, people die. You want me to destroy yeah. all werewolves? It just kind of reinforces my point that Switch that is already. really, really old hardware. Aside from war, <laughs> and Nintendo just really needs to switch over to Switch 2. Ago, someone stole it. All right. Where is it? At Maca Haven, a former Niju outpost. You should still find storage records there. And you? I'll stay low. Destroying weapons didn't make me many friends. Cass out. Map updated. Oh, God. Well, let's go back to this thing. Ugh. Oh, this feels so bad. Good. Wormhole. Guess I could go to quest? Missions. Here we go. I should probably do this. Can't track, you're currently on a mission. Coalition always valued science over human life. The Prophet hated them for it. He called them the Atheist Scourge. Considering the weapons they created, I understand... Totally, yes, I noticed that. Which is why I think that it's more of an OBS interface thing with this game. Like, they just don't play well for that specific thing, which is super weird, because theoretically a menu should be the easiest thing to render. But... I don't know if it's some encoding thing. I don't know if it's just some weird shared thread between OBS and the game. It might not even be OBS. It might do the same thing if I'm playing, you know, just without streaming or whatever. But it completely just hitches everything. Forza, about your name. Yes. Thank you for hanging out, Beast. Where did it come from? And hopefully I'll see you soon, either on uh, my stream or yours. Inside this ship. And I hope you have a good evening. During my process, through the torment and pain, 
One word echoed inside me. I have not played Just offline to test it. So I made it. I'm kind name. of a purist about that, that and change it. Why I don't like, I? you know, if I advertise something as a first playthrough, I want to have a hundred percent of it like on no. stream. I shall keep it. I see. For better or for worse. Even though um that would be a very easy test that wouldn't really break my you know, all I'd have to do is hit start theoretically. I know there was one specific time, though, where the game just, like, in general, was running terribly. And I just had to switch to another game. It was running so bad. So. Do, do, do. And unfortunately, I don't think that many streamers have streamed this game. <laughs> like, I think this is one of those games where only a handful of people have actually, like, ever streamed it. So, the odds of me finding, like, a random forum post about this specific issue is probably very low. Alright, that's it. For now. Great. Reddits? Something for our troubles. Yeah, it's truly a five second test. I I don't have a good excuse. <laughs> Let's see. But Duck, I don't know if you um heard me earlier. Do you have another game on deck or um you just kinda in chill mode with Halo right now? Back a Haven. Let's hope they still have records of Colonel Cass's stolen weapon. We deplete their database. I found a terminal. Investigate. There it is. Hack it. Of course. I'm done. Nothing useful in this database. But an old and Jew data storage unit is inside the cargo area. Ooh. All right. Guess we're going to the cargo area. We can find it. Also, how was Thanksgiving? <laughs> that was another question I did ask at some point. Where the heck is this? Six. Oh, okay. I think I have to go in here. Very graceful there. until it wasn't. Circle ship. Using Don't let it escape. Through there. Careful. Yes, it's tight. Multiple hostiles incoming. An amber. I could alert the station. No, we'll handle them. Half of them eliminated. Now for the rest. Oh, that didn't kill? Area cleared. All right. Did Mac Bet. Even notice? No, their surveillance is very inefficient. Allowing people inside that they don't really know. Man, this reminds me of those Andross tunnels right Let's here. Let's see what they were after. God, I used to play a lot of Star Fox 64 back in the day. I identified containers marked werewolf prototypes. Get me outside. And I will pinpoint their position. 
did the cult ship access Got caught up in data. Pokemon. Impossible Life mostly now. okay. Thanksgiving was mega chill. Undecided about next game. Interesting. <laughs> Out of curiosity, and this is maybe some insider baseball. <laughs> did Larry streaming Dark Souls 2 turn you off with the idea of streaming Dark Souls 2? I found only three coordinates. Colonel Cass, we found three weapon stocks. Good. That is what there should be. Proceed as planned and eliminate them. Cass out. All right. Nara, I found references to one more werewolf container. Werewolf I could try restoring the data. A fourth one. Okay. Go ahead. I don't know if it's worth going to this hangar or not. Screw it. We'll go to the werewolf thing, because that sounds interesting. Let's see. Little intimidated by starting Dark Souls 2 still, honestly. I have a couple short games I want to play, but nothing um, that's deserving of a next main game. I see, I see. Also, um... Whenever you're ready to submit your reward game, or whatever you want to call it, the bonus game for me to play, let me know, and I will get that on the schedule. It might be the next Sunday game. It might not. I don't... I have a couple plans. I'll go ahead and say it here first. I want to get through this. I want to get through um, Toonche, the other game that I've been playing, the little beat-em-up. I want to play Sonic Frontiers. I might be able to, like, do your game as a Sunday game for a couple weeks. Maybe I can locate them. Otherwise, I might do it in January. Also, my schedule is going to be super weird for December because I'm going to be gone for two weeks. And I don't know if I'm going to bring my computer with me when I'm gone. It's like a 50-50. There we go. That's the last one. Whoever lost them doesn't need them anymore. Damn, too late. Pilot, can we meet up? I need to talk to you. And here I thought it was my lucky day, but I guess it's yours. Sure. I would just sell it anyways. Good luck out there. Same to you. Bye. Is this ship... Er, sorry, is this salvage behind the meteor or inside of it? Behind it. Here we go. That's tough. 50-50 on Larry. It's just a game that takes a bit more mental em energy and I am more worried about getting stuck and not having the same support. I'm a little worried about it being more of a slog than I'm looking for right now. Then let's check it out. But I do owe it an honest try. That's fair. Like as you know, and I've this has been my stance since day 1, I have not changed it. I think Dark Souls 2 is the worst of the series, but I still think it is a very good game all things considered. Honestly, the problem I have with, like, there's a lot of problems I have with Dark Souls 2. But, and me and Lunzi disagree on this. I think Dark Souls 2 is by far the easiest Souls game. Like, unquestionably the easiest. Because the other ones I'll die, like, I would say minimum 300, 400 times on a first playthrough. Dark Souls 2 is like maybe 100, 150. And the automatic repair will take two days. Granted, I don't two-hand like a lot of them, so... I, I think maybe using a shield might make it a lot easier. Thank you. Oh. Another one of these pointless missions where I just press A and win. Here's something for your trouble. Thanks, See, Captain. Stay safe out there. I can only assume that this was supposed to be something greater and they just didn't have time to incorporate whatever 
mini game or you know mission type they wanted to do right there. That's just the um, backseat game dev in me telling me like, oh, that seems weird that it's like that. And also, I think you've heard me say a lot of times like, my strategy for the Souls games is like one per year. I feel like that's a really good personal like cadence because I feel like it's very easy to get like too good at them and not really get the full ex oh. it's weird saying you don't get the full experience but like when you I see the deaths as part of the experience and if like you're already muscled memoried up you might not get that that must have been to all cult forces our defense grid is down we will not resist let's go over here first let us live oh gosh I have three things I need to inspect. 90% sure what I um, want you to play. Likely a one or two stream game for you. I wonder if Red Dead 2 would be a good stream game for me. Ew. I love Red Dead 2. I know it's kind of like... I think most people are pretty positive about it. I know there's a couple people that are very down on it just because the pacing is a little bit slower than... Um, in fact, I think you were one of those people, like, you love the original Red Dead, but Red Dead 2 didn't hit at the time you played it. It's a long game. I think it's about 40, 40 to 50 hours, roughly speaking. Resistance pace. And I feel like it's one of those easy games, like, if you're not feeling it, you, you can you just sure drop it and nobody would say anything. Within this area, I cannot pinpoint their precise location. Incoming ship. Confirm your identity. It's also a game I would really love to go back to, but it's just such a long game. Cult Slayer, please state the purpose of your visit. Unfortunately, like, as you know, I play everything. The drawback of that is it's very hard for me to get to replay anything. <laughs> so I replay Final Fantasy VII. I replay the Ace Attorney trilogy. I'll replay, like... The original Sonic Trilogy, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Knuckles. But aside from that, I don't really get to replay many games. And I kind of have a rule, like, if I play a game that's, like, probably not in my top 20, which, when you consider how many games I play, getting in my top 20 is very hard, I will probably not play you again for five years minimum, no matter how good you are. Although, like, there are, there are a couple cases, like, Devil May Cry 5 is not a top 20 game for me, and I gotta replay it. Um, when I was doing the podcast, there was a lot of games I replayed there, but... I'm looking for your ordinance, officer. She's conducting an inspection over there. Should I signal her? Yes, thank you, but I'll go to her. Copy that. Yeah, I'd be super down to watch you play some Red Dead. Moving closer so you can access her storage records covertly. Of Got course. it out for a while. Not sure if I'll be um, on when you get back, but welcome. Oh, well, thank you, man. And thank you for um, stopping by and just chatting it up. And hope to see you soon. You must be Nara. I wasn't informed about an inspection. I'd love to see your top 20 list someday. I'm not part of your forces. That'd be a fun one to do. I, um, you know, one last thing before you, you go. Everyone by how you fight. So, I've made a top 20 list. Probably back in... It was probably about 2014, 2015. If I redo it today, it would be very different. And my top 20 is so nuanced at this point. It's like, man, a game that's like... I would say... Maybe the top five or six slots are like, okay, these games can rotate, but like, I feel like seven through 20 could be <laughs> like, if you ask me on a certain day, I'm like, ah, yeah, that's not in my top 20, but we, we might make that into a stream. We might make that into a stream. I normally try to do gameplay focused streams, but if I can find an easy way to do like a ranking of, or maybe we don't even do a ranking of, maybe I just make it like some type of tier maker or something like that. Um, we can make that happen. That'd be a fun Discord activity. It'd be fun, like, our entire group. That would be actually really cool. 
But yeah, man, thank you for hanging out and have a good evening. Oh, it's impressive. Admiral Cardo might disagree. The Admiral is just careful. He always says... Nara detected the weapons and the access codes. You wanted to say something? No offense, but I still don't get why you won't join us. What did he say about me? Only to never let our guard down, as always. That's good advice. Look at that precision. Would you mind if I take a look Gosh. around? Go ahead. Oops. Please. Find a way inside. I have the access codes. We should get inside. Open it. Wait. What? Gosh, that would be a really good mental exercise. Maybe we do that at the end of the year, because right. I typically do a top 10 every single year. I didn't do one last year, but I normally make like a top 10 of X year every single year. So maybe we do that and maybe I do a top 20 games of all time. And I probably need to do a top 10 games of the decade. Would not make up for the resistance's technological inferiority. Right. The fight would only become bloodier. You misunderstand. I meant that someone outside the resistance could wield such weapons more efficiently. A more advanced, focused force. That's not an option, Forza. Guess we need to head over here. I also need to pee more really quickly, ahead. so... They've already materialized. Then we should make them disappear. I'm gonna try to skip that fight real quick. I already have enough currency. I'm tired of fighting these, these random encounters. So. I also did have the epiphany last stream that it's better for me to not actually pause the game, but rather um, just kind of dock my ship so the game doesn't glitch out and my camera doesn't glitch out. So I'm just gonna go zero G and I'll BRB. Responding now. I had to pick up a cookie.
Okay. After them. Quick. One of the ships carries the payload. I cannot identify which one. Then we'll take them all down. That's really cool how they're hard to see when they blend in with like the ship wreckage and stuff. Retreat. No. Call for reinforcements. I cannot hit these guys for <laughs> Ooh, the life of me. Another one hit. Huh. Oh, that cookie went down the wrong way. Huh. Oh. oh my god, am I gonna die to a cookie? I have to call really bad. Destruction of werewolf weapons confirmed. Very good. I detect something in the wreck we passed. It's Naju Tech. Could be part of a weapon system. Let's see. There. It's not a weapon of mass destruction. We'll keep it. I agree on keeping Cass's weapons away from the Circle. Now they cannot use them to purge more innocent civilians. Neither can the Resistance. But they never cleansed heretics. No, but when Cardo led attacks, he readily accepted collateral damage. Not everyone in the Circle was a warrior. That cookie kind of messed me up. Every was weird. was always a fanatic. Let's move on. Oh. To all cult forces, our defense grid is down. We will not resist. Just let us live. Their pleas wouldn't have stopped us. Right. Their cleansing is imminent. <laughs> Haven Commander, why did you shut your defenses down? I didn't. I mean, every time I reboot, someone keeps turning them off. Our only working weapons are on this old Spirit class ship, but our pilots aren't trained for it. Great. We gotta navigate this stupid ship. It's super slow. To show their pilots its basic maneuvers. Right over here. I feel its wounds. They're old, but it can still fight. Commander, stream this to your pilots. Yes. Damn, the cult is here. There are more of them. Copy, got visual. More incoming. Another lesson. Let your pilots take And another one. Tranuk, stop your ship. Stop now. Commander? My chief engineer. He's a traitor. Us out. We need his access code. Set. This is not going to end well for you, sir. Captain of the Circle, I've locked the station system as you commanded. Very good. Now embrace your cleansing, heretic. You're targeting me. Haven Commander, you still want this traitor alive? Yes. 
We need his code. Then watch what happens close to This is cult justice. Captain, come in. Please. My wife and kids are on board. To the cult, you're all heretics from the cleansed. I did it. I asked, Captain. Stop! Once a resistance fighter, you're branded a heretic. And heretics must be purged. Oh, this seems a little dark. It's even darker is the fact that his health bar isn't getting affected at all. Don't understand what's up with that. Even though I'm making contact. All cleared. Chief Engineer, stand down and return to the Haven. Uh, I can't go back. This is not a request. Look at your family and think hard. Do you want them to live? <gasps> okay. I'll return. That was a pretty easy mission, all things considered. Stronger now with that spirit ship. Thank you. This is for you. Appreciate it. But he won't be your last defector. Yes, but the cult promises so much. You saw the recording. How they were set to purge. And not just him, but his family. Everyone needs to see this. Right. Right. An example. Good. Nora out. Right. Got one more question mark to head to. I detect a wreckage field. The cargo may be worth a look. Do I really need to do it? No. Can't help myself. This is the site. Let's see what my right of the senses detects. Nice credits for these. Damn, too late. Pilot, can we meet up? I need to talk to you. And here I thought it was my lucky day, but I guess it's yours. Sure. I would just sell it anyways. Good luck out there. Hopefully, once Thank we get you. this done, we can get Bye. back onto some main story stuff. How long have we been going for? One hour and 30 minutes. I'll probably play close to three, if I had to guess. I do want to get some piano time on, or time in, before I go to sleep. Nara, come in. Captain? Cult fighters are on hyperdrive since the rift appeared. They hail it as some kind of favorable omen of victory. Because they don't grasp its true meaning. This rift will consume all that we know if it continues growing. Then we must keep on fighting with everything we have. There is no other choice. Never has been. Mm. Interesting. Approaching a werewolf weapon container. It is inside this wreck. An old Naju coalition ship. Hidden inside a graveyard of its creators. The werewolf rounds are behind that hatch. Then open it. Negative. We need an access code. Wait, I sense a life force. Someone was here recently. Do you know who? No. Forza, have you ever encountered wolf rounds? Yes. Preheated projectiles infused with amarid minerals. They carry intense heat, comparable to the ionized plasma of a star. Getting hit is 
agonizing. I understand. We're close. There is a data storage module inside. It could contain access codes. Then let's find the barrier's energy supply. The barrier is only weakened. There must be another energy source. The barrier's down. And... Right, we got the access we found code. The access code. Then let's return to the Naju ship. Any theories about what makes the werewolf weapon rounds so lethal? They are not just infused, but entirely made of an amorant superstructure. The Naju had unmatched scientific knowledge and resources. Open sesame? Codes or not? And it's open. Turret. Turret. Oh gosh, this is bad. Time to destroy the weapons. This sucks. Weapons neutralized. I'm picking up another signal. More new Jew technology. Let's see. Heat recycler. That's useful. Any more signals? No, nothing. Then we're done here. You never considered that I could have used Colonel Cass's weapon. It's dangerous. So are your rights. But I alone bear responsibility for their use. Nobody else. I see. Colonel Cass, come in. We've neutralized the identified weapon stocks. All three? Yes. Then our mission is a success. Now they'll have to find some other method of mutual annihilation. Apparently, my trust in you was well placed, Nara. Please come find me. I have something for you. Cass out. Hmm? He never mentioned the fourth weapon container. But I've restored the fragmented data. I know where it is. Then let's go there first. Ooh. Mm. There's something. Approaching the last known coordinates of the werewolf container. But I cannot detect anything. Should we still investigate? Yes, I sense a trail. Feels like an echo of Colonel Cass. Let's we start here. Too late. We could have ended the war with it. I told them we needed more test subjects. They died for nothing. And the killing goes on. Nothing. Wait. I detect amaroid residues. The weapons were stored here. Were they destroyed? Negative. So Cass kept them. He didn't Ooh. trust me. He still doesn't. And I certainly don't trust him with such a weapon. We must find him. The Colonel paid a high price for this weapon. We cannot allow the Colonel to have a werewolf weapon. But if we have Where it, is the weapon? it will significantly improve our fighting chances against the Circle and the Prophet. For sir, we talked about this. Still, if you find this last weapon, I trust you to make the right call. Lost weapons of mass destruction. Already materialized. That we should make them disappear. We're not going to worry about them.
We're at the outpost. Nothing is triggering. Is this one of those where I'm on a mission and it's not going to let me do anything else? Nope, 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 nope. I think I'm gonna have to go over here. Let me confirm. Well. Track. To me, it looks like I should be in here. Colonel Cass's outpost. He might use the werewolf weapon on us. No, those weapons are a stigma for him. But he'll try to kill us. Of course. Shall we go in? Yes, let's end this. We must destroy the last weapon. Colonel Cass, we're here. Now, where is the weapon? We are being targeted. I knew you would pursue any device that enhances your powers, increases your kills. I'm here to destroy it. A lie. I've seen who you truly are, Nara. Right here, when you purged my people, you are a living weapon of mass destruction. Ready? Let's end this. Well... We did end it. Not in the way that I had hoped. I'm here to destroy it. A lie. I've seen who you truly are, Nara. Right here, when you urged my people, you are a living weapon of mass destruction. Ready? Let's end this. Longer you live, second you know. He's dead. Interesting. Despite his lies, he honored his promise that no one must use this weapon. Then it's still here. Somewhere. Yes. I detect it. What do you want to do? It's yours. Take it. Thank you. I'm not going to hesitate about using it. Werewolf Spear. This launcher is a pinnacle of Neju Coalition's weapon research program. Developed in the late stages of Project Werewolf under the supervision of Colonel Cass, this weapon never entered mass production. Its warheads are entirely coated in an amaret superstructure radiating intense heat, comparable to the ionized plasma of a star. Okay. Might as well try it out, why not? Um, speaking of which, I should probably... See if there's anything interesting that I have unlocked here. So... Strengthens the ship's hull by 150. Um, let's look at some of these other ones. That's 30 to stability. Reduces repair downtime by 15%. Well, that's literally better than this. Thirty-five percent more shield, or that's tough. I think we're gonna go with this. Although I'm not even convinced that I'm gonna keep it. Um, let's see. Increase missile launcher's rate of fire. Gatling guns damage output. Laser. 
bright energy bar by two. I feel like this one's probably what I should be using. Chip boosts 25% faster. So I think I'm going to change that. Um, light speed by 25%. Light speed by 30%. Eh. We're fine. I'm not going to worry about when it too much. Done. I'll decide about my rights. And I will decide about this weapon. I trust you'll make the right choice. Whatever that might be. Well, the resistance hideout is right there, but... I should also... You know, we've done no upgrading of this stuff, which is kind of crazy. Um, let's see. Killed armored enemies with a missile launcher. Kill an enemy within seconds after leaping behind it. Destroy three enemies within 20 seconds after leaping at them. Okay, I need to do that for sure. Now, the other thing I wanted to do was missions. Let's try to track this and see if we can actually get to it. We can wrap up a couple of these um, side missions that we just have lingering. That'd be fantastic. Approaching rendezvous point. Intercepting circle communications. Let's surprise them. Destruction complete. Damage confirmed. My profit! Yes. Not a good hit that I took right there. Stupid ship. Is that all of them? The last of them? I sent something nearby that will help us on our journey. Great. Okay. This will certainly be helpful. Time to go to the jump gate and see if we can actually use it now. Because before it wouldn't allow me to use it because I was kind of like stuck in this area or whatever. Can't go there. Amarok. Cancel jump. Where I am currently. I need to go to Steg... Steg something? Stega system? Maybe if I go here?
I don't think I can. I just... I think I'm locked out of jumping. What's up with this ship right over here? Can I talk? No, it's just, just chilling there, I guess. Another ship that's just chilling there, I guess. Three. Got a moment. I can't believe the cult hasn't realized who I am. I know, but my sources indicate they have no idea. How can that be? Apparently, the Prophet explained your disappearance neatly. He announced you had ascended to the Faceless. Yes. If people thought there was a rogue elder, that would threaten his visions of perfect unity, of course. And now, both the Growing Alliance and the cult use your acts and name as a rallying cry. <laughs> The Resistance, a tight hiding place for a fleet. The rock's mineral composition blocks long-range sensors. They need every advantage. Their equipment, it's... Outdated, and no match for the Circle. They depend on us. Over there, the Makahaven ships. All intact. I hope Ree can use them. Nara! Attention everyone, she's here. Captain Astan. This is who saved us. It's quite a story. Another time, Captain. Of course. Re, come in. How's the Renak Haven engineer working out? Ariana? She's brilliant. No, oh, Re, you're brilliant. We'll get her into the rift in no time. We're almost there, Nara. Re out. Almost there. There she is. The cult Ouch. player. That Mother. one's not a digital sign. <laughs> A lot of grateful people yeah. here, Nara. Listen to them. They look up to you. I never wanted this. But you'll need their support. It's time to have that talk. Yes, Admiral. So, Nara, you really want to kill your former master? Will this rift lead to him? I don't know. But if I don't close it right now, everything you ever fought for ends. I see. Everyone, set course for the Anora installation. In the meantime, Ariana and I will take control of its laser. All right. And I'm your escort. This is probably a pretty important exactly. mission. They'll modify the emitter tower, and the resistance will have your back. Signal will carve a passage into that rift. It'll only be open for a few seconds. That's all I need. I'll get through. I go fast. Open the darkness. I don't know what they could have done to make this look better, but this whole lightning cloud here looks really weird and doesn't look great. Approaching 
rendezvous point. Apparently they both came. Re keeps her promises. Nara, we're ready. That thing above us is terrifying. And soon it could swallow our entire reality. We'll move fast. First, we will repolarize this external shield node. Then, the control tower. And that should make that installation chute a concentrated beam into the rift. Carving a passage. I just gotta protect the ship. All right, let's start. I got your back. Circle Harrier spotted. Copy. We'll prioritize them or they'll patch up their fighters. I'm hit. Deploys hostile drones. Deploys repair drones. Copy. I'll drive them off. Should be able to teleport. I kept hitting the teleport button, but it wouldn't do it. We're hit. Beams disrupted. Another one of these guys I need to take him out first. Disabled or whatever for a second there. That's interesting. Done? 
come on. I need to finish this quick. I just need to disrupt as much stuff as I can and just hope for the best. Too much heat on. Yep. I was really close. I was real close. <sighs> Gotta play a better match this time. Through the passage? Damn! The demon class. It must fall. To let the laser through. Resistance reporting in. How do you cover? Take them down. Careful. They can easily crush you. Better shoot fast then. This looks like another ship we're gonna have to go inside and blow up. Destroy their shields and energy supply. And let the beam do the rest. Energy supply down. 
Better. Dead. Ah, there was a healing thing right there. So I was a little confused on that one because it's like the one dude came in and he's like, our ships are taking damage, but I'm like, it looks like your ships are firing the damage onto the other ship that I'm shooting, so. Copy that, Captain. Oh, he's just talking about the ships around him, I guess. Let me just handle my business. And hopefully they handle theirs while I'm handling mine. Hit them hard. That was unfortunate. I took out everything I needed to take out, but I couldn't figure out how to get into the ship. Strike fast. Destroy their shield energy supply. And let the beam do the rest. Taking shield supply down. We got heavy heat on us. Help Slayer, we need your help. Copy that, Captain. Energy supply down by 50%. All energy cells destroyed. Standing by to breach the engine room. Fire now, Captain. Zara, the Admiral still needs us. Run. Continue. Yeah, I had a very slow turn, and I could tell that <laughs> that was not going to end well for me. That being said, we did take out the ship real fast. Fire. Destroy their shields, energy supply. And let the beam do the rest. Taking shield supply down. We got heavy heat on us. Help. Energy that was just a bad run. Okay. Fly straight up. Taking shield supply down. Damage confirmed. Destroy their shields and energy supply. And let the beam do the rest. We got heavy heat on us. Help Slayer, we need your help. Copy that, Captain. Energy supply down by 50%. Shift them out. Oh crap. Impact. Just All energy cells destroyed. Standing by to breach the engine room. Fire now, Captain. Lara, the Admiral still needs us. Fight on. Okay. 
take out as much stuff as I can. Oh gosh, my guy's almost dead. How did that happen so fast? Ah, crap. I almost killed everything on the ship. I just can't figure out how to freaking get inside the ship. Destroy their shields. I'm going to try to destroy everything I can before I go for the energy supply. Because going for the energy supply is what triggers... Dude, asking for help. Should be in a very good spot. Just shoot the crap out of everything on the ship. We got heavy heat on us. Help player, we need your help. Copy that, Captain. Energy fly down by fifty percent. Keep going. Okay, the energy cells are destroyed. Fire now, Captain. Dara, the Admiral still needs us. Into the back. Strong. He's not letting up. No! Jeez. Well, my strat worked for the most part. I just got really dumb on the last ship. Now we can destroy the cells.
Fly down by 50%. Go for the kill. All energy cells destroyed. Standing by to breach the engine room. Fire now, Captain. Sarah, the Admiral still needs us. after we kill all these ships around this dude. I want to see two more. Ouch. Last one. I gotta Understood, protect Admiral. that ship. This all makes sense now. I was just doing this mission super wrong. Oh man. So, turns out this mission isn't that bad if you just play it right. Hit them hard. Destroy shield generators. Oh. Well, let me not worry about all this nonsense. Get in here. Go for the kill. Ouch. And there you have it. Achievement right there. Is this a final boss? Through the rift, flow towards this faceless. It feeds on all we suppress our fears, nightmares, ambitions, and it anchors the rift. We must destroy it. We will. Right. This might be a game we finish tonight. Who knows? On 
the arm. Go for the kill. was a weird thing that happened right there. I'm not... <laughs> was there a cue that I missed, or...? Look, the arms end has opened. Good. I'll get inside. Oh, this is dope, though. This is just straight up Star Fox 64. Like, freaking Venom. Only 90 kids would know. 90s kids would know. Another one hit. Um. We tore it off. Damn. Oh, don't want to be outside of there. Okay. Back to his heart. This battle feels fantastic. Honestly, like, I love this game, but gosh, it needed something like this hours ago. This is incredible. Like, a truly complex enemy that has just all these different facets. That's the one thing I don't understand about the fight. It's like, okay, you need to get in somewhere, and it's like not gonna clearly point you in that direction. Let's get in. Until you die, and then it immediately points you in that direction. So it's like, why don't you just point me there before you instantly respawn me there anyway? further. Come on, hit it! Okay, like I thought. It's open. Not that 
much further. Let's go. Is that the heart? The last arm is gone. He's hurt. And raging. We must hurry. We'll not stop. That is inevitable. Uh. Can't see a thing. Okay, I died. Like, I like this fight a lot, but there's a lot of really weird things near the end. We must hurry. Evasive measures. Too early. Come on. Just kill, just kill, just kill, just kill, just kill. I think that was a TKO. <laughs> oh, this is a weird little fight right here. He's hurt. And raging. We must hurry. Full impact. That was bad. It's very hard to dodge those beams when the screen's in a weird color and you can't really see them that well. We must hurry. Still here. Hit them hard. Evasive measures. Must continue. Death imminent. I wonder how you would do that in one shot because shot. theoretically, it's like, from the it must not fall to the you would take so much damage from the like going through the arms and stuff Nara, it'd be okay. very difficult to finish that in one i could feel his pain felt like a final boss i guess we'll see forza it's done we sealed the rift now everyone will see that the cult is not invincible, and even rifts can be closed. So there is still hope. There always was. For others, but not for me. You came through, Nara. And we are in your debt. This victory changes many things. Glad to be of service, Admiral. But it also changes nothing. Now we must find the Prophet and kill him. Or there will be more rifts. Somehow he's the trigger. Admiral Cardo, I fear our battles are far from over. Yes. Oh, no. To kill the snake, we must crush its head. We've detected several rebellions on cult worlds. The news is spreading, and each day, more join our ranks. But it's going to be a long war, without end, unless we stop him. I will find him, Admiral. Believe it. I'm staking my fleet and many lives on it. Good hunting, Nara. Thanks. And Ree, stay safe. Always. You don't know how to stop him. I know where to start. The Canook Fields. The Circle's most sacred ground. Where it all began. Where the Faceless found him. And where the secrets 
guess we're gonna go to the jump gate. Got Amarok, Nuke Fields. Oh, we can go to, um, well, can't really go there. I guess we're going back here, and this is the first area, I think. Could be wrong about that. Either way, I think this is probably where we're going to call it. We've been playing for over two and a half hours, which is a pretty good size stream for me. Here, but it has changed into perfect darkness. And it's growing. The void's long dark of night. The faceless taint. Set course to the Kinnock Temple, where I last saw the great prophet. Before Nimica. Before he vanished. I think we're going to call it. I want to do these missions, and I'm going to try to figure out how to do them um, soon. Because <laughs> I do feel like we're getting kind of close to endgame. I could be completely wrong. We'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. I'm going to raid out. I don't know who I'm going to raid. But I'm going to go ahead and do the little end stream message. And just stick around. Peace. Thank you.